Hi guys, and welcome to another Lyrical Breakdown with me, your lady friend, Bonnie. Uh, yeah, I'm happy to be here. Today was a long work day for me, so this was like something that I was looking forward to coming home and doing for you guys. It was like the cherry on top of my day. So <laughs> uh, yeah, that's, that's what I'm doing. Uh, and so this week I'm doing a viewer requested song. Um, you know, for anybody who's interested, you can leave uh, a song suggestion in the comments down below and I may or may not choose to do it at some point. Um, so yeah, this is, like I said, a viewer requested from uh, Ismail Gadamsi and he is one of our patrons on uh, Patreon for anybody who's interested in supporting us. You can check out the link in the description down below. Um, but yeah, we have did, we did um, uh, in the classic quest, we did um, uh, a requested album by Ismail Gadamsi uh, that he had suggested uh, and this was um, The Last Emperor's album The Legend of Bigfoot and so I liked it so I when I saw this one and I had checked out the song I was like this is a good song he knows what's up so <laughs> so this is off of The Palace of the Pretender album which came out uh, August 26 2003 so um, yeah it's it's a good song it it's uh, you know I feel like early 2000s had some really good, like, really good rap stuff going on. But, um, so yeah, this album, it looks kind of like the cover of it. It looks a little bit like samurai inspired, um, but still while he's being himself, he's still like true to him. Um, so I thought that that was pretty interesting. Um, so yeah, you, you're going to hear me break it down. I'm not going to be playing the song in full though. Uh, just letting you guys know. Uh, I'm trying to think if there's anything else that I need to let you guys know. Oh, we have a Discord going or, um, or starting. And so, yeah, we'll be, you know, if you're interested in that, you can also check that out down below. <laughs> but anyways, enough of, like, self-promotion for us. Um, let me just get into the song. So let me play The Last Emperor, Single Mother. That's the song we're doing. I don't even think I had gotten to that part yet. Um, so the song is called Single Mother. For all of you single ladies slash single mothers out there or anybody who was raised by a single mother, like this is like a pretty good song. Um, you know, if, if Mother's Day is coming up wherever you are, um, I think that's like different different times around the world. Um, you can maybe play this for your mom if she, you know, if she's a single mother and if she likes rap music. Uh, <laughs> but I don't really see why she wouldn't like this song. So anyways... I'm going to start. I'm going to stop babbling. <laughs> so let's give the song a little bit of a listen first. Her kids felt a single pain. With a single kiss, she makes everything okay. So it's a really smooth um, beat. I really like the, the beat, the sound, like everything about it. I really enjoy the, 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 like the whole vibe of the song. It's pretty good. So let's check out the lyrics. Uh, this is a single story for every single one on a single planet under a single sun in a single solar system some think it's odd entire galaxy created by a single god with a single thought and a single plan single earth fashioned by a single hand seven continents separated from a single land many nations all created from a single man so this is sort of um a story for uh, a certain type of people who we haven't really like found out who this is like dedicated to yet um, but it's it's you know he's kind of saying like on this lonely planet and this lonely solar system you know we're in the middle of we're just kind of floating off in the middle of nowhere and are there aliens we don't know is there anybody else out there can anybody else hear us um, is this being transmitted by, by someone or to someone like light years away I don't know I don't know um, <laughs> but yeah, anyways, so, and some, uh, people find it impossible, I guess, to believe that God, uh, created, you know, all of this with a single purpose. And it is, it is like a, a hot topic. I'm sure it is. Um, I'm sure it is. Um, you know, people don't really know how the earth was created or whether, whether it was God or whether it's science. And it's like the constant debate, like how, how we got here and what we're here for, kind of. Um, so all the continents separated from one, and that one was called Pangea, for anybody who doesn't already know that. Um, and that's, you know, when they were all, when all the continents were still combined before they had separated out. Um, 
So all the all the different nations were created from uh, the very first human, which is really like interesting and like really it's really quite something when you think about it that the entire world started with one person. And so everything that you see and everything that we are as humans and everything that we've created and everything, really. I mean, it's just crazy to think that like everything came from started with one person. We yeah, start got to start somewhere, right? Uh, <laughs> so let's keep going. A single nation taken to a single place where they simply aren't familiar with a single face. Yet this is not the story of a single struggle of a single struggle a single symbolism, nor a single couple. A young couple who raise a single seed, sworn protectors of her every single need. Forming a single balance under a single order from a single act of love, they have a single daughter. Sorry, there's a cat that just showed up. Um, <laughs> and now she's like, I need your attention. Anyways, uh, so one nation basically uh, taken to like a certain place. And I assume that he's talking about um, like the slave trade and how um, how a bunch of like African people were taken and kind of distributed kind of around the world. Uh, mostly, to, I want to say mostly to the United States, um, but they were also taken elsewhere as well. Um, and they're just kind of brought to... They're brought to lands of um, full of strangers, basically, is what they're saying right now. And it's really interesting because I'm reading something about that in um, the Book of Negroes, which I'm reading right now. So this isn't uh, just a story of that. This is more about, like, struggles. Um, and he talks about a young couple who um, have a baby and swear to take care of it no matter what. And from the single sinful act of sex... Um, they created a baby, a beautiful baby girl, and she's by herself. She's a solo girl. She's born alone into this world, and that's kind of what we're talking about here. So along the way, she put her faith in a single lover, and from a single lie, she became a single mother of a single son born to a single girl, single home alone in a single world. Though her kids felt her single, her single pain with a single kiss, she makes everything okay. I wrote this record in a single way, so the radio will play it every single day. So the girl fell in love with the wrong guy, which uh, happens. And I kind of think that maybe it was because of a lie, maybe something he said, maybe something she said, or whatever the story is. Um, and then the guy left, and whether or not he knew that she was pregnant, um, he left her pregnant, alone. Um, and, you know, they're like all of these people who were involved. Well, I guess not all of the people, the two people. Um, that's what it takes to make a baby. So I hear. Uh, <laughs> so um, they were the result of single parents as well. And so it's just like continuing that cycle again um, of single parents. And, um, and even though she's a single mom, she's going to love and care for her baby as much as she possibly can. Like that's, you know, that's the best that a mom can do. Um, and he wrote this single for an album he's creating and he's hoping that it gets like a lot of radio play. Um, and that this, you know, and then it plays all the time and then it becomes a single. Um, and I think it's really cool. Like the way that he uses single in, in this verse, like just makes you realize like all the ways that you can use the word single and how complex English lang English language can be <laughs> sometimes. Um, so yeah, I think that's really interesting that he used it in different ways. I mean, obviously like it's repetitive a little bit, but it still really works. And like he uses it like a single is like a single record. Um, and it's like all these different ways that you can describe a person who's single and, and all these just different ways that basically do describe a single person. Um, so I dedicate this to every single mother and I think that he means every single mother and also every single mother. Does that make sense? You guys know what I'm saying? Like everyone, but like, especially the single moms. Um, I think that's just what he's saying. Single mother, just let you know that we're thinking of you. If you're a single mother too, hey lady, this one's for you. Uh, dedicated to every single mother, just let you know that we're thinking of you. If you're a single mother too, hey lady, this one's for you. So he's basically, like I said, he's dedicating, dedicating this to every single mother out there. And he realizes that it's not, 
easy and you know it's not easy to be like any mother but like let alone being a single mom and being on your own and trying to like make it all work for you it's it's a trip it's hard um and i think that he probably has like a personal connection to at least one single mother in particular because i feel like he's singing about someone so it could be like a caretaker or his mom or his aunt or like a family friend or a teacher or whoever like you know inspired him um or maybe he just sees people that are single and he's just kind of like whoa like that's that's pretty crazy right um because it's hard to 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 raise a child i mean like i said anytime um but it's hard when there's like no help and and how like often i think he's thinking about it in this case um that the guy just leaves and and that there's no there's nobody to support them like financially or emotionally physically like all the different ways that you need to be supported um and he just wants to let all the single moms know that they're that he's thinking about them and that everybody's singing this song and everybody's reminded constantly of this song and everyone is singing along and knows how important and how hard it is to to be a single mother so yeah thanks moms uh <laughs> so you were my first teacher my first friend gave me my first vision and my first glimpse of a bigger world giving given me my first look tucked me in my bed and read my first book and as i fell asleep for the first time little did i know you were showing me my, my first rhyme i want to thank you for showing me how to be a man and turn my pain into poetry so um his mom was the very first person to teach him stuff um and to be his friend most of the time like this is the case um i mean i I think it is changing now i think it's a lot more that there it is the father that's there and it's everything you know the dad's there around a lot of the time so i think that's really great too um so but i think that in this case obviously she was the one that was there for him taking care of him raising him and she's the one who exposed him to a life of maybe something more that that there was something that he could be better than he was or that he is um and like it really seems like from what he's written here um he's like the like his imagination was like explored and and enhanced because of like the books that she read to him and like the different teachings and everything else um and through her actions she allowed him to be expressive and creative and letting his emotional um energy flow out in his songs and i think that's really cool um and i think that that's also the case in a lot more um i mean i don't know if it's always the case but it is in some of some of the time um where the boy if a boy is raised by a single mother um he obviously you know and she's doing a good job and everything else that she is um is creating a more uh, feminine environment a little bit um which which is i think is really great and it allows them to be more expressive and be able to be more in touch with their emotions and kind of get the best of both worlds a little bit um and they tend um so like the one the boys who are raised in a more like masculine environment they tend to be a little bit more withdrawn from emotions um and art and things like that it just i mean i'm not trying to like be stereotyping any like gender um speci- like specific specifying specific i don't know whatever it is but i'm not trying to like gender roll anybody into anything this is just what i've seen and read and, and experienced in life and what i see too often to be true um so yeah so break my silence express myself vocally how to show the world what was once done locally first one to take me on my quest for learning first one to help me through life's stressful journey and every single step i'm coming with you cuz i belong to a strong single mother figure you were the first one to tell me i was something bigger i was an emperor not just another blank so from his anger um i think he you know he can express himself through his music so he doesn't have to stay like silent about like the issues or whatever certain things that are bothering him and you know he's got you know obviously like you know emotions pent up inside of him and he can use his art to express that and get those emotions out and i think that's always a positive thing for anybody to do 
Um, so through every step of the way, his mom was with him and like pushed him onwards and like kept like rooting for him and was like his biggest supporter. And I think that's always really sweet. Um, and, and she continued to teach him um, and show him that he was an emperor and that he was not just like a pleb like everybody else and that he would rise above and he would he would do good things. And I think that that's, you know, it goes to show, like, you know, if you have like a good mother or if you have a good role model or something, somebody that's there that you can talk to and can like motivate you and show you that you can be bigger than what you are or where you are or whatever, um, then yeah, I think that's always a very positive thing to do. And that obviously worked in his case because he's a successful rapper. Um, <laughs> so yeah. Um, so first one to show me how I might be strong. These days seem shorter and the nights seemed long. Maybe that's the reason why I write these songs to set, th to set the record straight and try to right these wrongs. This is the saga of a single mother that's been provided by a single brother. I had to write it in a single way so the radio would play it every single day. So his mom was the first one to encourage him to believe in himself and like like show him that he could be creative um and strong in like this in this different way um and he's saying like the nights were maybe long and that's it made me think that you know often you hear these stories about moms that are working nights and they're having like, they're working the night shift because their kids are just like staying at home sleeping and whatever um and they want to be there for their kids when they're like going to school going off to school and when they come home from school that there's someone home and i think that's kind of what she may have been and like that's why like the days really seemed really fast because she you know it was just like the time was so precious with you know with her and like she you know how she's feeling as well I'm sure she thought it was very precious time when she spent with her son um so yeah I think that's good and I think that also he's saying that single mothers kind of like deserve a chance and a break in some respect and for people not to like judge them or treat them poorly in it or anything like this is they're just doing what they can and they're doing the best thing that, that they that they can and um yeah maybe like help them out or like do like a you know random act of kindness for a single mother um so yeah <laughs> and he wants he really wants this message to get out there and to be heard and like really listened to and like this is a different it's not it's a different sort of a rap song like this is a quite a positive thing and he's 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 taking something that could be construed as like a negative thing you know where the guy left the girl and he's using it you know obviously he's I think he's obviously talking about his mother um but he is he's sharing it in a different way and I think that that's really nice um, and he's seeing like the the positivity in it and I think that he wants this message to be heard and he wants to make this song a single like I said um, so that it gets a lot of uh, a lot of radio play uh, because he wants mom's single mothers to hear him <laughs> he wants to let them know that he's thinking about them and again reminding like, the listener what this is for with the chorus um, again I dedicate this to every single mother just let you know that we're thinking of you if you're a single mother too hey lady this one's for you another lonely day another lonely night i dedicate this to y'all yeah it's only right another untold truth is now brought to light another lesson is learned because you taught me right when i lost my way and the road got lonely only you you were the only <laughs> you were the one who showed me only you you were the one who to hold me sometimes I feel like you're the only one who knows me and if you gotta stay single hey you should know this I wrote this in a single way the only thing I can do is pray that the radio will play it every single day so I think this is he, him saying that it's it's lonely it's it's hard to to it's a it's a lonely night life for um, a single mother um, because they just also don't have that much time off um, to like hang out with their their kids and so like they want to spend all their time with them and so I think it is hard for for them to kind of step back and make time for themselves because they're so busy like being good moms and doing everything that they can for their kids and you know dedicating their whole selves to, to their kids um, that they don't often have time to like find a partner or like hang out with friends or kind of like relieve stress you know, and everything else, like they obviously need like a social life as well. So it's, 
it's difficult. Like it's not always like an easy balance, right? Um, and so he's kind of like bringing these women to light. And um, in this case, in case people had forgotten, um, he's kind of reminding them. And that's why he wants this song played all the time. Um, and he's saying like, I was raised properly. Like that was what he's saying. And, you know, because, because of his mom and he had like a great upbringing and he knows, you know, all like the right and wrong for, and everything um, and good morals and ethics in him. Obviously he, he knows what he's talking about. Um, and it, it's not something that's always done. Like even people with, you know, two parents don't always get a good, a good education, a good upbringing, uh, a good, sorry, a a good upbringing um and good like morals and ethics and things like that um it, that's not always taught to people so it's very it's very very good i guess um you know it's always good to learn that but it's also very good for like a single mother to like take that extra time to like make sure that those things are taught i guess and learned um <laughs> So yeah, those are important things to learn. Um, so she showed him love and compassion and also taught him how to be like affectionate. Again, which is something that's definitely not taught to everybody. I'm all, I'm not necessarily the most affectionate person, but um, I try. <laughs> and, um, and he knows that his mother um, knows him better than anyone else and cares for him the most and, you know, always... It's his mom, right? You know, she, she obviously loves him and he's obviously loves her. And this song is, you know, probably dedicated to her. Um, and sounds like he's like a, a bit of a bit of like a mama's boy. Um, but in like the best possible way, like, like the good thing, like, um, there's that song by salt and pepper when she says never disrespect or never disrespectful because his mama taught him that. And so I thought that was like a good line, like to kind of reference like what he's talking about. Um, because, you know, I think that people are like acknowledging the fact that moms and like play, a, moms play a very significant role, period, <laughs> single or not. Um, <laughs> but anyways, so I think that he's saying that, um, if she's going to stay single, then at the very least, he's going to, um, he's going to write like this song and he's going to like hope and pray with all of his might that he gets a lot of radio play makes them some like dollar dollar bills y'all and um that it's a constant reminder a daily reminder and like just saying like how much he appreciates them and how everybody should be reminded to appreciate single moms and moms in general so there you go so I dedicate this to every single mother. Just let you know that we're thinking of you. If you're a single mother too, hey lady, this one's for you. And he just goes through that again. I won't read it twice. But um, again, so it's reminding us of who this song is for. Um, and for the mothers and that they're very special and that they sacrifice a lot for their kids um, and they deserve some recognition. And, you know, why not write a few songs about moms? Um... And like I said, it's, like I said before, it's definitely not an easy thing to raise kids, um, period, or on your own. It's probably 10 times worse and it's harder financially and physically and, <laughs> and emotionally, psychologically and spiritually and socially and educationally and all the other lees. Um, <laughs> but women are doing this because they love their kids and because that they have hope and just love I think you know that's what it is for their kids um and men do it too you know and you know but right now we're talking about single women um <laughs> so it's just like kind of like a like you go girl kind of like song and like you keep doing you and you be great and like we appreciate you and it's sort of like a hug in a song a little bit um, <laughs> but I'm not really sure that there are, you know, any single mothers, if you guys are out there, um, uh, and watching this, like, I, I, I mean, I highly doubt that you're watching this, um, if you're a single mom and you have a million other things to do besides watch my videos, but, um, <laughs> yeah, I'm sure you have like diapers and all these other things, but I'm sure it's not just diapers. It's just raising kids. Um, so yeah, anyways, just remind your moms, um, single or not that how much you appreciate them and, and how, you know, how much like their hard work has maybe paid off. Maybe like let them know that your mom know, um, 
if there's something that you're proud of and that you think that she would be proud of, like send her a text or an email or a card or a letter or whatever you want to do or just call her or walk across the street to her house or walk upstairs if you still live in her house and you're living in the basement. Um, <laughs> so yeah, just um, let them know how much you appreciate them and apologize for your teenage years because I'm sure you were a ter terrible teenager. Um, I was, so I'm sure you were too. Um, <laughs> but yeah, so definitely let your, let your mom know that you love her um so that's pretty much the whole song like there it's it's a pretty nice song and um I, I mean i feel like i said pretty much everything about it um yeah i liked it it was a good song good choice um thank you for your suggestion um and if you guys have other suggestions like i said put them in the comments and maybe you'll see it um so yeah if you guys want to follow me on twitter um <laughs> my link is at YLF Bonnie. Um, I'm over there. And again, thanks to our patrons. Um, Chris Prado, Ismail Gadamsey, extra props for, props to you for this um, lyrical breakdown. Uh, Linda Williams, Super Old School, and Super Old School 1994, and Carl J. So thank you guys. And thanks to everybody else who stuck around. If you want, you can like this video, you can subscribe, and we will be posting more stuff whether you like it or not. So see you soon. Bye, guys! <laughs>